expected against Newcastle United. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, and a big welcome to you to this match. How do you assess this West Ham United side, Alan? Well, it's mid-table security, but not the kind that they were after. They were expecting better things from this side, and they have been disappointing so far. Whenever we talk about Newcastle United, you think of maybe underachievement, uh, given the ground's prominent position in the, uh, in the city. Uh, you can't fail to, to see it when you're there, and uh, the pressure perhaps that brings on the, on the players. Um, maybe it's because of that that they, they don't do so well, but uh, it, it's a wonderful football club, and, and really you'd be thinking they'd be uh, uh, totalling up the honours rather than just happy to get the points. Maybe, maybe you talk to uh, players that I used to play against and they say that you've got to be a special sort of character to, to play there because there is pressure from the fans. You know, they, they, expect, uh, they expect big things, they certainly expect you to give it your heart and soul. And if you don't, you'll, you'll get stick. West Ham United, they're on a bit of a roll, particularly from their last game, an away win against Cardiff City. It was a great day for them, that 3-0 win, but uh, it's got a funny feeling they might lose here. We're underway here, with West Ham United kicking off. Austin Bailiff is our referee for this match. There's some potential in this move. He will be adjudged offside here. Close, but uh, got to get the movement timed a little bit better. From uh, the Etihad, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. Four minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Well, that's a fantastic clearance. He rose to the occasion and saved the day. Sylvain Marvo. Barton. Chambers. Challenges for the ball. Santon. <laughs> Johan Kabay. Silvan Marvo. And the opponents come in strongly. Downing. Nolan. Look. Johan Gufra. Johan Kabay. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Liverpool. 70 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. To be a bit too clever there with that pass, a little dink ball. Johan Kabay. Well, they're attacking here. Might be... This is the chance. It's a penalty, Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Swansea City. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Oh, it's a great penalty. High into the corner, away from the goalkeeper. 23 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. It's a big test this for Newcastle, one that they feel that they can pass with flying colours. Gets his foot in there. Keep away, a good punch here. Chance for him, and here's the shot. Corner. It's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shrees is on the case. It was a nasty roll of the ankle. He went right over on it, but he has carried on, so I think he's unlikely to come off. Thanks very much, Jeff. Well, they're in 
good position here. And the defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Chambers. And he gets it back again, quickly. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 41 minutes, please. 1-1. Cheers, Alan. He takes the shot off. after that save. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. Well, that has been a long first 45 minutes. Not too many goal chances. Well, the best of this game is going to come in the second half, there's no doubt about that. It could hardly get more uh, dull, I suppose, is the right word. Oh, I'm glad you're optimistic, Martin. <laughs> I'm not quite so, but you're right, it couldn't get much uh, more boring than it has been. Adam Ben Arthur. Looking at an absentee on the right of midfield for the visiting team today, Alan. Yeah, I mean, whether that's going to be costly or not, it depends on the away team's attitude, how attacking they are. Attacking well here. It's been a sending off at Sunderland, Alan McAnally. It's a sending off for Sunderland. They're down to ten men. 52 minutes, please. It remains... He's in here. Oh, oh it's in there. Changes now, hard and low, into the corner, great finish. Well, I think he's got ice running through his veins, this boy, because his clinical nature there to the bottom corner knew exactly what he wanted you to do. That's M. Ben Arthur. Well, this player has been out of touch, but he's going to start the game. He is, and the manager sticking with him, hoping that he'll come out the other end of this poor runner form. No advantage here, the referee stopped it for offside. Well, they're still trailing, and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Noble. And eyeballing each other, those two. Johan Kabay. We're hearing there's a penalty, Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Liverpool. What a chance! Pushed back into play, and he's going to shoot. Now they've got a corner on the attacking. Goes for goal with a volley. We just had to cut short Alan McAnally earlier, but he told us Liverpool missed from the penalty spot. The score remains 2 0. Some potential in this move. And he gets it back again quickly. Is in. And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. Goal news from Sunderland, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Southampton. It's been scored by Pablo Osvaldo. That's his second today. A stunning volley that dipped over the keeper into the roof of the net. 69 minutes played, 2 1. Cheers, Alan. And that's been judged by the officials as offside. Look clear enough. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Got to be. Well, well done, the goalkeeper. There was real power in that shot. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Real concern for the defender, just happy to get it away. Nervous, really. James Tompkins. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. 75 minutes, please. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Some options now for the pass.
Uh, he's gone too early. He's offside. Well, it might be a good idea just to get a, a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. Barton. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's the second goal for Fulham. Eight minutes remain, 2-2. Two -two. Thank you very much, Alan. Matt Jarvis. Barton. What a chance here. Could it be? This is what we love about football, isn't it? We've got the team leading, the fans cheering, and the other team giving everything to try and spoil the party. Well, the way this uh, away team are pushing, knock Alan. It's a goal for Everton. Two minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Referee's pointed for a free kick here. Whitehead. It's a chance. And he strikes a goal. Oh. Wonderful goal. And he's quickly made his mark on proceedings here. Coming up another look at it, Alan, that will show us something. Now it's 2 0. Remy. Remy. He's got space, and it will go into the middle now. Hit with a volley here, and it's in for Newcastle. What a good moment and a good goal for Newcastle United. But coming in from the right, that was so inviting, wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. And this was all about anticipation in the box and getting his foot there first. Well, now it's 2-1. Noble. Murphy has brought a hawk to it, that's full time. A really good game to watch, good attacking play, edge of the seat stuff for the spectators, it's what the game's all about. Yeah, and there's nothing better, Martin, than seeing quality strikers go about the work and... Uh...